So this time we're going to fight through them this far. Probably my one of my favorite bosses. Not really in design. Um, or to... Or yeah, I guess it's in design. Because um, it's kind of that rival character of the player. And I'm not sure why, but I just love rival characters. Not necessarily... Um, clone characters because if the character is literally just meant to be the polar opposite and that's the beginning and end of their whole personality then you know it doesn't seem all that interesting to me but um well sometimes it does you know like like piney um from crash and whatnot you know, they, they don't really have much of a story but you know, they, they still seem interesting to me I'm not sure why. Characters like oh, Vegeta and shit. You know, I'm thinking that Dev might actually make a second one of this one. Pretty cool if they did. So you can notice that when he has a line for a mouth, he throws out these three things. Segmented. When he pauses, that's the best time to hit him. Obviously. When he does that, that one's a bit unclear um, where the burst is going until it does near the end, of course. I think that move is the most powerful when it needs to like be nerfed a bit because it's just too ridiculously large. So it gets absurd when you're playing on hard. And like he's just clogging up half the map. It's always so frustrating finding this guy just near the end of his health. Not because of his other moves. His other moves are alright, even though he gets challenging because he stacks these things up. You can only burp break them by doing a splash nearby. He gets really aggressive if you get close to him, actually. Which is why I'm clearly making a um, gap between me and him. Because as soon as you get close to him, you're pretty much just fucked. Because it's not an easy kill, like every hit only takes one hit of your health. Which if you don't know, Pip is like each line of radiant in the health bar. Then he spews three, three, three. One good dodge is all you need. Because you can take a ton of damage. From that, but, well, I should say give out a lot of damage. Okay, when he cycles like that, you just gotta make sure you're not like leading towards him. Sometimes it can be quite tricky working with those three blasts. It's honestly the funnest one to do, like try and avoid that while he's got his lines everywhere. And present it so quite hard plus with how aggressive he is you can easily get wiped out in seconds with this guy this little eight ball thing looks like an eight ball i'm not sure what he he's meant to be just kind of hard to lead the shots on this fuck boy Yeah, for five dollars, you know, the amount of bosses you get is pretty pretty good damn deal. Yeah. It, these animations take a bit too long, I feel. If he does a second one. I don't remember that. Little bit. <laughs> you can kill the <laughs> That's the same thing that's in the puppeteer. Yeah. Just like a smaller version of a now glass master. The first time I played this, glass master was probably like the guy I struggled the most with. It's not even mainly because of his move set. Like when he's off screen, you don't really, you didn't used to get a warning only with a patch, did you? Um, or any tries to show you off screen and shit. But um, 
It's more just like lay like halfway through the fire you'll see the thing that made me struggle with on. I'll just say halfway through the fire. But yeah, now you see that big burst or ring that helps you identify where he is, which really helps out with the fire. I'm not entirely against Fast Master, but I'm not also entirely for him, you know. Mainly where it walks a ton in a row like he is now that I hate the most when fighting him, I'd say. If there's another game, I hope the thing they step up is like animations for the bosses. This guy's kind of got a kind of. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a stab in his eye from an ice block or what. Or I should say an icicle from an ice block. So, you know, I'm not sure what that's, what's going on there. Looks like it's supposed to be some sort of wound, like, ow. Big boss has big eye patch. This is big boy, big naked snake. Not too long or when he does yeah, that that shit always gets me down like two or three half bars when it happened. It just happened so quickly and there was so little indication of it. And it just clouds the whole fucking thing. Like the spikes are a lot better to find now. They used to be all over this fucking place. It's just so awkward to fly from here, like, I really don't like it, because you can only really dawdle around the edges of the fire now. And I just like my room when fighting my bosses, you know? For a second now, I thought I'd get hurt by the fucking big boom he does. The big boom. Now looking at it, it's, it seems kind of silly that I struggled so much with this guy. Because I'm like just breezing through this so easily now. But then again, at the time, I didn't have all the visual and audio cues like I did before. But I guess the audio cues were there, but it's a little unclear. Visual clues just kind of really help. So, I was nearly dead, lads. <laughs> and we got him. Just gonna leave it like that. Yep. Oh, it's dead. Shut it. Oh. Oh, 
on him to do it. It's not fun. It really is try it. Which one's this one again? The science. Oh, yeah, shit, yeah. Yeah, I actually struggled with this boss quite a bit. This one's actually a pretty, pretty good boss, you ask me. There's something just so interesting. I love the water effect, too, I should have said. Just, it's, it changes with your perspective, like, where you are to the raindrop, too. Like, I criticized the last episode with how bad the, um, animation and all of that sort of effects that they do, and how it counteracts the... Oh, it's simulating 3D, but the water effect just really works with the 3D there. It's just so good. It's hot. And it's so fitting as well with the the music and the the boss design with the mask and the uh, face thing. The only real problem with the mask is it doesn't look like it would fit on him. It looks like it's too small for him. You know, like if I got an image of the mask and the dude and I tried to stack them together, but I don't think they'd work together. I hate the mask move, so they were just so quick and sudden. It feels like I have no time to really react to them when they come out. The big guy himself, though, I actually quite like fighting him. You know, considering when to do my explosions to repel and bounce him away and shit. Listening for the charge noise. Waiting for the teleport. Looking around, saving my uh, dodge to avoid his charges and shit. Now there's something else that's really good about this rainy thing. That actually feels on the latest stage of the boss fight. Um... You see it in a bit, so it won't spoil it. I don't like how the camera's shaky, though. I say I'm fond of that. Fuck off with your mask move. Fuck off. Shit, did that not hit him? Gonna do it again. Yep, he did it again. Um, I think he's, he's gotta go down to, like, 10k before he uses the fucking, um... Second stage, I guess. I guess this guy technically has three stages because that happens. Oh. So yeah, this is a second stage where he starts using the this move, which makes you really feel claustrophobic, even though this boss area is actually really big. But yeah, in boss fight wise, this is probably my favorite boss fight. Like, because we were just talking boss design, this one's probably my favorite boss fight. Like, just considering everything, just how it like connects together, how cohesive it all is, and just how generally fun it is to play, like his move set and shit. Oh, I love that boss. Um, this hidden boss of theirs thing. They're, they're not really that interesting to find, to be honest. Alright, it should be not too long that you start to notice some different stuff to happen. It really makes things a lot more fucking intense. Oh shit, I didn't even know he had a chicken arm on, a, on him either. The, um, secret final boss does. 
Patrol E Base 2 for the next one. The final boss is kinda hard, but the secret hidden boss is really hard. Secret final boss, I should say, hidden boss. I like that face my guy's pulling. It's like, oh, I'm not sure about this, guys. Alright, I think it's starting to build in now. If you, you might be able to start to notice that. It looks like it's starting to build anyway. Alright. everything the boss has been doing generally like you play it a bit you get used to the moves that you know when to dodge what the when to use his place um, ability and so forth you kind of get used to it right well of course the second stage usually changes things up but come on do the thing already do the thing i want to talk about it i don't want to spoil Right, a fog comes in, so you got to know his moveset a lot better for this one, because you have to react a lot faster. Now, on normal, I, I feel like it's a bit slow, so I, um, I'm kind of doing this pretty easily, but if I was doing this on hard, it's, it's really fucking hard, <laughs> you know? You more rely on the sounds to know the moveset, I found, because you can hear the sounds immediately, even though you can only see it kind of soon. The mask seems to be easier to notice as well, more than he is, because he blends in with the background, as you can kind of notice. Not necessarily the floor, but the background he does, and the fog, so it kind of just morphed in so easily. I can barely see him there. <laughs> this fog, I just, I love it. If this was actually 3D, then you could also look at the water and kind of notice where he is from those. But, you know, oh shit. But yeah, if you notice, there's also a bridge here. Now, this is kind of a decision thing. You can either stay out in this open area, this big open area, and fight him at normal. Or, or, you can come up here, where these masks help you see where he is when it gets foggy with the lights. And they look always look directly at him in this a lot smaller area. Like, he's almost the size of this whole platform, right? I can see that, but he also takes like double damage here, nearly something like that, like one point five times damage or some shit. So it's kind of risk versus reward thing. If you want to fight here, I find it's a lot harder for me to do it here just because of the uh, room. But you know, if you if you're more of a glass cannony sort of person, then you know you prefer doing it this way. Just get things done quicker. Whoa, what the fuck was that noise? <laughs> Never noticed that, eh? I think they have changed up a lot. Oh, that poor guy up the top there. And now, we can face the final boss. I guess we'll leave that for, um, what part are we at? Yeah, that would be part five. 
So we should be able to beat the game by then. Hope you enjoyed.